looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have a bunch of stuff. We got the new series update, guys. We do, in fact, have a lot more than just that, though. So... Typically, a series update can be its own thing, right? Like, it could be its own big day in Madden. But today, guys, we do have the series update combined with the playoff promo part two, which combines some of the first round guys, like the first round performers, like wild card and stuff, and past performances, some current. So, we have a lot of stuff to go over. So, let's head into the ultimate team screen here. Here we go. A new currency has been added to Mud, as you guys can see right here. So, super excited, guys. We're going to convert our trophies over again. Trophies haven't been that big of a deal this year. Like, quite honestly, guys, trophies are probably one of the least favorite things of this Madden, like, for the most part, because last year, guys, the last two years trophies were a big part we got series mastered we were excited to collect them there was a lot to do with them but this year specifically guys there has not been a lot to do in terms of trophies so like we that's kind of something that we've just been dealing with we've been just living with right kind of sucks that that's the route we've had to take but it is what it is now we go over to story guys we'll check out some of the store offers real quick to start the video off let's check out Shaw competitive so they did add some good stuff for trophies, at least. They gave us an 87-plus overall playoffs player. So if you guys have some trophies saved up here, you can open one of those. It's a 130. Some Series 4 team captain tokens, some Coach Madden collectibles, and, of course, the usual stuff here. But it is cool they added some playoff-related stuff into this, so at least you have some use for them. Um, Training-wise, they added a Series 3 Redux player pack, 7,000 training for an 86-plus overall. Now, it does not give us odds here, which kind of sucks. But, guys, you could pull some good stuff like the new Michael Strahan and a few of the better guys there. Of course, you could pull some bad stuff. So my, my recommendation, guys, if you know how to do uh, training conversions, go convert the training uh, training coins for training, right? Let's say it costs you 100K for 7,000 training. Maybe it's worth it. Let's say it costs 300K. It's probably not worth it. Let's say it costs 50K. Maybe it's worth it. I would buy the best value and work from there. And that's pretty much it for that. I mean, we do have a few other stuff here, but the main thing's going to be Series Redux player. Now, regular packs, guys, we have a playoffs bundle. This stuff's been here. All this stuff, but now... Let's head on over and check out some of these sets for the new part of the playoff promo. NFL playoffs. NFL playoffs launch. One was what we had, guys. This was the original. And then NFL playoffs week one, which is the wild card. So they are doing per round, which is cool. So we start off with a 96 overall John Abram on the Jets. Not on the Falcons, which is pretty cool. We have 95 overall Josh Allen. 95 overall Marcus Peters. 95 overall T.Y. Hilton. 93 overall Leonard Fournette. 91 overall Cam Akers. 89 overall, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. And, of course, we do have 87 overall, MJ Stewart Jr. Now, these cards are great. They're good. They're good cards. I mean, you can't really, you can't argue against them. Now, here's the thing. Name-wise, okay, so John Abraham's going to be a past one, of course. He's going to be the master. Josh Allen's going to be a current. Marcus Peters going to be, I believe, a current. And T.Y. Hilton will be a current. Leonard Fournette's a current. Cam Akers is a current. Oh, so I guess they're going to be all currents except for the master. So the master, as per usual, guys, the set's going to require three total players and a 91 to 93. And you do get back the three required heroes back as Nat. So if you like Josh Allen by any chance, guys, let's see what his card's looking like real quick stats-wise. So you guys just saw him yesterday, but Josh Allen, 97 throw power, will be all threshold and good speed, guys. Honestly, Josh Allen's one of the best quarterbacks in the game at this point. He's going to get 99 throw power. He's going to get all throwing thresholds, all throwing thresholds, every single one, and 89 speed powered up and chemmed up with a 99 throw power. You cannot, and 86 juke move. He's, he may be very, very well the best quarterback in the game, or at least close to it with the high break sack as well. So what I can honestly tell you guys right here, for the most part, is going to be that Josh Allen, this set's worth it, because you're going to get one of the best quarterbacks in the game back is Nat. And, oh my God, was that a snipe? I just missed a snipe, right? You guys saw the 225 Josh Allen, see, right? It's every time I'm recording. It's always when I'm recording. I'm going to open up a few more. Wow, I could have done the set right there. Uh, Marcus Peters, let's check out him. This set's probably going to be worth it. And guys, if it is, I will make a set video for you guys. Uh, let's see Marcus Peters. He should be decently fast. 95 speed. Okay, so Marcus Peters is good. Guys, this is a good set. This is a good set. Hopefully, there's one free one too. This is a good set because you can go ahead. He will get 99 man. Um, good zone, good press, and 96 speed. Marcus Peters and Josh Allen. Three meta cards. Two meta cards right there now. T.Y. Hilton, call it big. Give us 95 speed and you're in. Give us 95 speed and you're worth it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 95 speed it's 96 speed as well guys this is the best set in the game hold up hold up i did not check his route running he gets medium deep <sighs> bro this is the best set in madden this is the best set in madden i'm in love with the set 
we're, we're gonna hit it up we're gonna hit it up right after this video is over i'm gonna do a video on it of course that will be the second video probably for the day so definitely stay tuned for that um that's crazy now we're gonna see john abram maybe keep them all right but no again if you can if you can sell john uh abram i said that called abram and abram uh let's go to challenges though and check out if they do offer up a free one here so let's see let's see let's see go up to nfl playoffs weekly guys by the way these are the ones where you get your uh coins and i believe you get super bowl prep tokens or something like that too so make sure you're getting that nfl playoff celebration maybe next year let's see milestones we do get a 95 overall nat nfl playoffs player now i don't know if that includes the new ones guys if this does include the new ones that set is worthwhile let me know down below if you guys have done the solos let me know if you can go ahead and get the new ones because if you can that's awesome so make sure you can uh let me know down below and i will make my video on it of course that's crazy that is one good set that that's the definition of a good set right there you cannot argue that set at all now let's see john abram like i said if he's worth it, you can keep him but i would probably recommend more than likely just sticking to selling him as of now right off my initial impressions just because of the fact that if you guys uh sell him you could probably get all the other players for super cheap you guys know the deal with that um i'm gonna have to probably sort my playoffs here because well it may, maybe maybe people haven't done the say it no they've definitely done it been up long enough john abram 456 okay so that's not bad um 90 speed 94 excel 90 okay so he's gonna get 99 finesse move power pass rush above 90 block shed he's gonna have okay again oh, these cards are great these cards are all great this is a great playoff drop guys i cannot argue with this playoff drop you really just can't you can't argue with it there, there's no way of arguing with this playoff drop i hope you guys i hope you guys take advantage of these players this is a great drop now of course we do have team of the year coming this week so this could be a big trap could be one big trap, but I did predict Josh Allen as my team of the year quarterback, and he's not getting it, so I'm kind of upset about that. But my honorable mention was Russell Wilson, which I don't think he deserves it over a guy like maybe Josh Allen or something like that. But he's the only guy without an upgrade at quarterback. Like, you know, Mahomes got one, Herbert just got one, Josh Allen just got one. I really Aaron Rodgers got the uh the 50. I really don't know how else they could do it. Now they have done that in the past, like plus one overall increases, and then they just give you like an easy power-up option. I don't know if they'll go that route, but they may. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up everything I want to go over. Now, there is the um, the level up challenge rewards here, which you're not going to be exactly able to see, but you guys already know how this goes. Uh, daily missions. Oh, whoops. Sorry, Mutt level. We go all the way down to here. Now, guys, I haven't completed my Mutt levels. Like I said, it's been a rough, rough two months. The last thing I want to do is play uh, Madden Solos for a while. I've told you guys it, it was rough. Like, COVID, computer broke. So I without my computer, I had to be going out to friends' houses and using people's MacBooks. And if you guys know, not that Macs are bad for editing, but MacBook Airs, this you know the the, um, the entry level laptop is meant for what it is: school, videos, YouTube, Facebook, right? Not high level, you know, performance rendering and stuff like that. It's just it was not for that. Not my setup. Not go with the trackpad. It was just been a rough month. I was going in and out the last. I was it was, it was kind of like demotivated. I don't want to say depressing because you know it doesn't maybe accurately describe it, but it was demotivating and it was very demotivating for the last. I haven't had my computer since October 28th, I think. So it's been a few months um very demotivating everyone said buy a new one but i knew there was a warranty on it so i did not want to go spend like this computer cost like about four grand a little bit over i did not want to go spend that money unless i knew i was getting the other money back because then if i got that computer back you know just get the point if i got the computer back i'd be screwed but stuck with two of them so point is sorry for all that you guys have been wondering why i've been playing as much like i said i'm up to madden i love madden i love being involved in it but i've been off the i've been off the ground a little bit like i said because it was just a demotivating few months and then if you guys remember the year started with me not being able to play madden for almost two weeks because madden locked me out it's, it's, been, it's been a weird year. But, guys, here we go. Here are the level ups for the new ones. So, level 71, you do get a fantasy pack, which is where you get the easy coins. Game changer pack. 93 to 94 overall power pass. We do get 40,000 coins. Level up challenges. Fantasy pack again, which is where you get the easy coins. Level challenges. Game changer pack. 40,000 coins and a 95 overall power pass, which is huge. Can get you guys like guys like the Josh Allen, per se, if you didn't want to do the set. But that set's nice. I recommend the set. I always recommend the set. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like the video, comment down below, guys. Also, let me know, is the mic quality good? This is my brand new mic. It's a sure mic. Pretty, you know, supposed to be really good. Let me know what you guys think. Is the quality much better now in comparison to what you're used to? Maybe I'll change up the lighting a little bit. I got to throw the Hue light strips back on. But yeah, guys, about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm out. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve. Pick up some coins so you can get these sets done. Use code Poodle for 30% off. Take advantage. I'm out. Peace.